Hello everyone. In this video, we are going to learn our fifth chapter of chemistry that is language of chemistry. So in language of chemistry, we'll start with chemical reaction. A chemical reaction are used in many ways in daily life. A chemical reaction is the process by which a chemical change happens. All chemical reactions are also accompanied by change in energy. Some chemical reactions absorb energy such as in the chemical reaction that cook food. Other chemical reactions release energy in the form of heat, light or sound such as the burning of wood in a campfire. Chemical reactions happen at different rates. Some chemical reactions are fast such as when rocket fuel burns while other, chem other chemical reactions happen slowly such as the formation of rust on a corroding bicycle chain. The chemical reaction in your own body which are keeping you alive are among the fastest chemical reaction known. Chemical reaction Any chemical change in matter which involves its transformation into one or more new substances is called a chemical reaction. It also involves transfer of energy. The substances that undergo chemical change are called reactant and the new substances thus formed are called products. So in left hand side we represent the reactant and the right hand side we represent the product. For example, hydrogen react with oxygen forms water. In this equation, two molecules of hydrogen combines with one molecule of oxygen gives two molecules of water. You can see with the white color, two hydrogen molecules are there in the reactant side and one oxygen molecule that with the red color in the reactant side you can see where in product two H2O molecules are there. In such an arrangement, the number of atoms in the reactant side will be equal to number of atoms in the product side. Law of conservation of mass. Matter can neither be created nor be destroyed. It can only be transformed from one form to another. In other words, we can say in a chemical reaction, the mass of the product always equal to the mass of reactant. It means mass is conserved. What are the conditions necessary for chemical reactions? Number first is close contact. For a chemical reaction to take place, the reactants must come into close contact. That is, they should be mixed. For example, sodium react with water violently when they come in contact with each other to produce the new substance sodium hydroxide and hydrogen. Therefore, in the laboratory, sodium is stored in kerosene oil to prevent its contact even with moisture. Second necessary condition is solution form. Some substances react with each other only when they are mixed in the solution form. For example, when sodium chloride solution is added to silver nitrate solution, a white precipitate of silver chloride and a soluble sodium nitrate are formed. Third necessary condition is heat. Some reactants need to be heated to undergo a chemical change. For example, iron and sulfur when heated together react to produce iron sulfide. Without heating, they do not react even if they are in contact with each other. Fourth necessary condition is light. Some reaction takes place in the presence of light. For example, photosynthesis in which carbon dioxide and water react in the presence of chlorophyll and light to produce glucose and oxygen. Fifth necessary condition is catalyst. Some reactions need a catalyst to speed up or slow down the reaction. For example, manganese dioxide acts as a catalyst for the decomposition of potassium chlorate into potassium chloride and oxygen at a lower temperature. What is a catalyst? 
A catalyst is a substance which changes the rate of chemical reaction without itself undergoing any chemical change. Different chemical substances are used as catalyst for different chemical reactions. Characteristic of chemical reactions First one is change of color. In some chemical reactions, change of color takes place when reactants forms the product. For example, when a piece of iron are dropped into blue solution of copper sulfate, its blue color slowly changed into light green and also the red substance is formed. Number second is evolution of a gas. In some reactions, one of the products is a gas which can be recognized by the effervescence, bubbles, smell or color. For example, when dilute hydrochloric acid is added to the solid sodium carbonate, a strong effervescence is observed indicating evolution of carbon dioxide gas. Third is formation of precipitate. In some chemical reactions, when two solutions are mixed, an insoluble solid known as precipitate is formed. For example, when barium chloride solution is added to sodium sulfate solution, a white precipitate of barium sulfate is formed. Number 4 is change of state. Change of state is observed in many chemical reactions. The reactant may be solid or a liquid which changes into a gaseous product or vice versa. For example, when hydrogen gas is burned in oxygen gas, it results the formation of water which is a liquid under normal condition. Another example is when copper carbonate is a green solid, on heating it produces copper oxide which is black solid and carbon dioxide a gas. Number fifth is change of smell. During some chemical reactions, a strong smell is experienced. For example, when solid ammonium chloride is heated with sodium hydroxide solution, a gas ammonia is evolved which is recognized by its strong pungent smell. Number 6 is heat is released or evolved. During many chemical reactions, heat is evolved indicating the formation of product. For example, when water is added to quicklime, a large amount of heat energy is evolved. Another example is when dilute hydrochloric acid react with the sodium hydroxide, some heat is released. What is a chemical equation? A chemical reaction is often described by writing a chemical equation. A chemical equation uses either words or symbols and formulas to describe the change that occurs during a chemical reaction. For example, a word equation is when hydrogen gas reacts with oxygen gas gives water. Formula equation is H2 reacts with O2 gives H2O. In a chemical equation, every chemical equation must have one or more reactants, one or more products, an arrow directing reactant to product. If there are more than one reactants or products, the chemical name formulas are separated by a plus sign. For example, reaction of zinc oxide with carbon to form the zinc and carbon monoxide. The word equation is zinc oxide react with carbon forms zinc and carbon monoxide gas. Symbolic equation is ZNO react with C gives ZN and CO. In this reaction, you can see the atoms on the reactant side as well as the product sides are equal in this case. Such the equation is known as the balanced equation. When the number of each kind of atom is the same in the reactants and products, the equation is said to be balanced. For example, you can see here two hydrogen molecules react with one oxygen molecule gives two water molecules. So balanced chemical equation four hydrogen and two oxygen will be in reactant and same will be in product. Balanced equation is 2S2 react with O2 gives 2S2O. Coefficient in chemical equation. A coefficient is a whole number that is placed in front of symbol of an element 
to show the ratio of the different substances that are present in the chemical reaction. For example, magnesium reacts with hydrochloric acid gives magnesium chloride and hydrogen gas. So, the balanced chemical equation is Mg plus 2 HCl gives MgCl2 and hydrogen gas. Here, a coefficient 2 is in front of the formula HCl. This means that Mg and HCl combine in the ratio of 1 ratio 2. Skeletal chemical equation. A chemical equation that is complete except the coefficients is called an unbalanced equation or skeletal equation. For example, skeletal equation is S2 plus O2 gives S2, where balanced equation is 2S2 plus O2 gives 2S2. Balanced chemical reaction. A balanced chemical reaction is the one in which the number of atoms of each element on the reactant side is equal to the number of atoms of the that elements on the product side. For example, when two molecules of hydrogen combines with one molecule of oxygen gives two molecules of water. So the balanced chemical equation is 2s2 plus o2 gives 2s2o. In this way we can see the number of atoms in reactant is equal to the number of atoms in the product side. How to balance a chemical reaction? To balance a chemical equation, begin by counting the number of atoms of each element in the skeleton equation. Balance by placing coefficient in front of the chemical formulas until the number of atoms in the reactants equal to the product. Rules for using coefficients. Use only whole numbers. Check that the coefficient in the equation are the lowest common factor. Never change the subscript in the formula to help make atom balance. For example, when magnesium burn in oxygen to give magnesium oxide, we can write in word equation magnesium plus oxygen gives magnesium oxide. In skeletal equation, we can write Mg plus O2 gives MgO. Steps for balancing the equation. First, we write the skeletal equation that is Mg plus O2 gives MgO. Now we will check the number of atoms in the reactant side. Here magnesium is 1, oxygen is 2. After this we will check the number of atoms in the product that is magnesium is 1, oxygen is 1. In this way we can see magnesium in the both side is 1 but oxygen in reactant side is 2 and product side is 1. So we will multiply MgO with 2 means we will write 2 as a coefficient in front of MgO. So equation will become Mg plus O2 gives 2 MgO. Now in reactant side there is 1 magnesium and 2 oxygen where in product side there is 2 magnesium and 2 oxygen atom. So now we can see magnesium is not balanced. So in front of Mg in the reactant side we will write 2. So 2 is coefficient in front of Mg. Now our equation is 2 Mg plus O2 gives 2 MgO. Now you can see in reactant side magnesium and oxygen both are 2 and in product side magnesium and oxygen both are 2. Now equation is balanced. In this way the balanced chemical equation is 2mg plus O2 gives 2mgO. Reaction of hydrogen with oxygen to produce water. Word equation is hydrogen plus oxygen gives water where skeletal equation is S2 plus O2 gives S2. Now in reactant side we can see there is two hydrogen atom and two oxygen atoms where in product side there is two hydrogen atom and one oxygen atom. Now we can see in reactant and product hydrogen is 2 but in reactant oxygen is 2 where in product oxygen is 1. So we need to balance oxygen here. So what we will do, we will write 2 as a coefficient in product in front of H2O. Now our equation will become S2 plus O2 gives 2 H2O. Now again we will compare the number of atoms in the reactant side is hydrogen is 2, oxygen is 2. Where in product side hydrogen will become 4 and oxygen 2. Now we can see in the reactant side hydrogen is 2 and 
in product site hydrogen is 4 so we have to balance hydrogen what we will do we will write 2 in front of s2 in reactant site our equation will become 2s2 plus o2 gives 2s2o on comparing the number of atoms in the reactant hydrogen is 4 oxygen is 2 where in product site hydrogen is 4 and oxygen is 2 now we can see in the atoms in the reactant side is equal to atoms in the product side. So it is a balanced chemical equation. Reaction of iron second sulfide with sulfuric acid. Word equation is iron second sulfide plus sulfuric acid gives iron second sulfate plus hydrogen sulfide. And skeletal equation is FeS plus H2SO4 gives FeSO4 plus S2S. In reactant side, FeS plus H2SO4 is there. So, Fe is 1, sulfur is 2, hydrogen is 2 and oxygen is 4 in the reactant side. Where in product side, Fe is 1, sulfur is 2, oxygen is 4 and hydrogen is 2. It means the number of atoms of the reactant site is equal to the number of atoms in the product site. Hence, it is a balanced chemical reaction. Thanks for watching.